Israel has stepped up its bombardment of the Gaza Strip, killing at least 20 Palestinians, including four children, according to emergency services. So we turn now to Paul for the latest. So, Paul, this uh, raid comes as the bloody conflict in the territory enters its 45th day. Is there any hope left for a diplomatic solution? Well, peace talks in Cairo have completely broken down with a Palestinian delegation ordered to return home, leaving both sides to pick off where they left off before the truce began. Israeli airstrikes have resumed in full force, while Hamas has warned all foreign airlines to halt flights to Tel Aviv as of Thursday as militants fire hundreds of rockets from Gaza. Our Kim Minji has more. The airstrikes and rocket attacks between Israel and Hamas resumed Wednesday as efforts to come up with an extended ceasefire broke down. The Israeli military said it carried out 92 airstrikes in response to 137 rockets shot into its airspace since the truce talks broke down, which both sides blame on each other. Hamas says an Israeli airstrike on a house in Gaza killed three of its leaders, including the wife and infant son of Hamas military commander Mohammed Daif, who survived the attack. In a televised statement, Hamas military wing warned of further rocket attacks on Israel, including its main international airport. Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu has promised to continue his campaign against Gaza militants with all means and as is needed. Only a guarantee of the calm and safety of Israeli citizens will bring an end to this operation, and therefore I will continue to operate with firmness and insistence. Operation Protective Edge is not finished, not for a minute. We're talking about a lengthy campaign. Egypt expressed regret over the end of truce, adding that it will continue to try to secure a long-lasting one. The UN Security Council also voiced concerns over the resumption of fighting, calling on the parties to return to the negotiating table. The conflict, which broke out in early July, has left at least 2,100 people dead. Kim Min-ji, Arirang News.